What is up guys? Today we're taking a look at the top five Android launchers of 2015. So let's jump right into it. So kicking it off at number one is the Z launcher. And the thing that differentiates this app from others is the ability to write and find what you want. So example, if you want to go to the Play Store, you just type in a P and all your apps with a P will come up. Type in a C for camera and then there you go all your apps like that will come up and now taking a further look around the app you'll see up here you have your clock and date as well as underneath it some recently used apps down here you sort of have your preset apps as long as the app chore which is nicely put into alphabetical order and up here you have the settings and um, app play store button and you can also access the app drawer by sliding in this way and if you slide in this way, you can basically just get to your widgets hub, which is just a place where you can put all your widgets for quick access. Overall, it's a really nice and clean looking launcher and it's probably one of my favorites on this list. Next up is the Everything Me launcher. So taking a look, of course you have your search bar, your apps, and what the nice thing about this is that it organizes your apps into pre-folders already so you don't have to do that yourself. And if you want to customize things, you can hold down and you'll get a load of stuff that you could do. So it's really customizable. And down here on the bottom, you see you have some apps down here that are scrollable and some information which you can customize. Then you have your quick access apps and your app drawer, which I really like. I think it looks pretty cool. As for this launcher, it's really not one thing in particular that drove me in to like it. It's really just the overall feel that you get from using it. Number three is the Smart Launcher. So up at the top, you have your search bar for contacts and apps. You have your clock and date and whatnot. And down here, you'll see you have some quick access apps in little bubbles. And you can, of course, customize and move these around. And to add a bubble, you can click right here, then add bubble. And you also have customization. So you can choose from email, generic app, shortcut, or folder. We'll choose shortcut and Google Translate. So as you can see, another one has been added. And to delete it, you can just hold down and hit the remove button. And to get to your app drawer, you can click on this icon right here, or you can swipe in this way. And you see it has everything organized into little folders for you already, like utilities, settings, games, media, stuff like that. And also you can use this launcher in landscape mode as well. Number four on this list is the Ola launcher. So as you can see, I really like the icon pack on this one. And you see your home screen so you have your clock up here you have your apps with the nice icons and also has a built-in booster which will free up RAM for you which is pretty cool so as you can see it just optimized it by 37 percent and taking a look down here you have your apps you have your app drawer which is nicely sorted into ABC order and of course you can customize your home screen with loads of things by adding stuff, themes, wallpapers, effects, and a bunch of stuff like that. And I just really like the launcher overall. It's really snappy. I couldn't find any lag anywhere, so that's really nice. Coming in at number five is the Lucid Launcher. So you'll see as the uh, main screens, you're greeted here with uh, three preset screens that you can load up with widgets of your choice. So you can also click here to get a quick search of your apps as well as just swipe over here to get access to your app drawer. And you can also swipe in from the very edge to get quick access to a list of customizable um, sort of quick access apps. And you can swipe in from this way to get access to your search engine. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for more stuff like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.